Flexibility to adapt to the changing needs of students is an important feature of an inclusive school community. Specific delivery models for individualized programs may vary from classroom to classroom and may, at times, require a higher level of support that extends beyond the homeschool. You don't really realize how diverse your classroom can really be until you're at a place like Ann Fitzgerald School where there's so many different types of children. A boy in my class who was uh, diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, I was really concerned. I wasn't sure the strategies to use. Luckily at Ann Fitzgerald, we have a great uh, support team. So the first couple weeks he was in our grade one classroom, it was almost like day to day with him. Strategies about uh, how we were going to work with him, what his day was going to look like in comparison to the other children's day. And then we found out that he was going to the Genesis program. The Genesis Inclusive Support Transition Classroom, or GIST, supports inclusion for children with autism spectrum disorder. Each child who attends the program is accompanied by their homeschool educational assistant and multiple opportunities are provided for the classroom teacher to also visit the program. I learn more about autism and the way that children in general with autism think, how things affect them. People with autism have so many different functions and I learned how to read all of these functions so I knew exactly what he needed, when he needed it. I got to come and visit a lot. He still knew me as his teacher too and I got to observe um, someone else who had a lot of knowledge about autism and it was nice to have like a step back as they were explaining things that they were doing for him at the time because sometimes as a teacher it's much easier to to watch some of it happen versus just having someone talk to you about it. So we were able to actually see him in a classroom setting where I wasn't actually teaching. When he came back to our classroom, there was a lot of transitional support. We created a space for him in the classroom. We had lots of conversations with the other kids about what it was gonna look like, what kinds of different things we were gonna do, and there was a lot of trial and error within the classroom, so we would try some things and they wouldn't work. Um, it was just nice to have the extra support. He transitions from the carpet to, to go to outside or gym or anything, and he's, he, he lines up, he knows what to do, he knows that he has to wait. Just like all of his friends, he is, he's amazing. We are blessed. Carlito is very blessed with these people around him because they really taking a lot of him and then they give all their time to him and then they teaching him a lot. He knows uh, communicate, you know. He, uh, he called my name, Papa. That's my son. Huh? 